Sam here from SugarSpunRound.com. Today I want to show you how to make my all-time favorite banana muffin recipe. This is a really simple recipe with a really great flavor. To start, you're going to need three really ripe bananas. As you can see, these are pretty brown and that's great. It's going to give your muffins the best flavor. Go ahead and peel your bananas and add them to a large bowl and use a fork to mash the bananas to make sure that mine are really well mashed, I like to bring in a potato masher and use that too. Once your bananas are well mashed, add a quarter cup of canola or vegetable oil and a quarter cup of melted unsalted butter. We'll use a mix of both butter and oil for the softest possible muffins with the best flavor. Stir these together and then add a half cup of granulated white sugar and a half cup of light brown sugar. Once those ingredients are well combined, add two large eggs and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And finally, add a quarter cup of buttermilk. Stir this in. Now set your wet ingredients aside and we'll prepare your dry ingredients. You'll start with two cups of all-purpose flour and add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. Stir these ingredients together until they're well combined. Now bring back your wet ingredients and add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients. Gently fold your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients. Be careful not to over mix your muffin batter. Now you'll need a muffin tin lined with paper liners. Scoop your banana muffin batter into the muffin tins, filling each cavity about three quarters of the way full. This recipe makes about 15 muffins, so if you want to use all of your batter, you will need a second muffin tin. Next, we're going to go ahead and prepare the streusel topping for these banana muffins. Now, while this topping is totally optional, it's really good. It's a brown sugar base and it adds a nice little extra texture to the muffins. You're going to start with a half cup of all-purpose flour. Add a half cup of light brown sugar and a quarter teaspoon of salt and use a fork to stir these ingredients together until they're combined. Once the ingredients are combined, add a quarter cup of cold unsalted butter and cut that into your streusel ingredients. Continue to cut in the butter using a pastry cutter until your streusel topping resembles coarse crumbs. Once your butter is well mixed in and your streusel resembles coarse crumbs, you can add it to the tops of your banana muffin batter. Bring back your muffins and add the streusel topping evenly over each muffin. Okay, now we're ready to bake these banana muffins. You're going to need your oven preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Add the muffins to the oven at 425 degrees and bake them for eight minutes. Once the eight minutes have passed, leave the oven door closed, but reduce the heat of your oven down to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure you leave the oven door closed. That's very important. Once you've changed your oven temperature to 350 degrees, continue to bake the muffins for another seven to eight minutes. By starting with a higher temperature of 425 degrees, it allows our muffins to start to rise and get those nice big muffin tops that we all know and love. Then, when we reduce the heat to 350, they continue to cook on the inside without burning on the outside. This is going to give you the best, softest muffins. When your muffins have finished baking, the tops should be nice and tall, the edges will be lightly golden brown, some of the streusel may have baked off one of the sides, and that's completely fine. And that is how you make these perfectly soft, fluffy banana muffins. These are so soft and moist and the insides have the best flavor. I think you guys are gonna love these muffins. So go ahead, try them out, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.